Response to Patreon donor Roger. So Roger sent me a great question. He said that he had some squeaking in his rear door cards on his 126. And um, Roger's my kind of guy. Instead of having 30 cards that he can't pick between, he knows he loves the 126 more than any other car. So I salute you, Roger. Um, Roger's squeak is from his rear door cards. And so this is a really common and annoying issue on 126 series cars with leather interiors. Now, Steve, another uh, one of our subscribers, actually tackled this issue in a 300 SE. And based on what he learned, and also based on some stuff that I've learned, I'm going to try to give you some good information about where the squeak might be coming from. So the squeak is actually caused by leather that is rubbing, or vinyl, formed vinyl pieces that are rubbing against each other. And using thin two-sided, using thin sticky felt tape, which Mercedes used to sell under their own part number as a thing called an anti-squeak, was uh, always probably the best fix, but it wasn't widely discussed. So taking some of this felt tape, applying it to the armrest back where it, where it presses to the door panel, um, applying it to the armrest where it actually, you, can, you notice that the armrest contours the inside of the door panel, taking a very thin layer of this felt tape and putting it inside that contour so that um, it, it can sort of fill any, any irregularities in there. You don't want to see it. You just want to get it in there by taking the armrest off. And then by applying Vaseline to the remaining parts to soften up the vinyl, you can usually get rid of the squeak. Now, some people have tried this and it still hasn't worked. Where else can we look? Well, I don't know the part number off the top of my head, but where the armrest frame used to attach to the metal door handle, the interior door handle, behind that frame was a little foam square insert that that sort of went over the screw where the top of the armrest joins the door handle. This is a fairly large screw and it's hidden behind that frame. And this foam pad was in there to prevent squeaking as well. Finally, another area where these cars tend to squeak is where the uh, door rear pillar cover joins the, um, joins the door card. And in there, there's a little gap where squeaking can occur. And that's another great place for felt tape. So, you know, considering um, considering what's going on here, there's nothing actually wrong. It just needs some sort of buffer to remediate the squeaking that goes in between the two. Now, some people have told me about this and gotten squeaking between the two rear seat halves. If applying leather conditioner doesn't fix this, you could do the same thing and apply a little bit of felt tape in the areas of your seat where you can't see them. In other words, after the seat back kind of wraps around underneath where it joins the rear cushion and the, the bottom cushion. And there's an ideal place to investigate, investigate squeaking as well. Um, finally, when you're trying to find squeaks like this, a lot of people ask me, what's the best way to find these sorts of things? And um, I found that they are most noticeable in colder climates on colder days because that's when leather and vinyl get harder. You're going to have a very tough time finding these issues by yourself. So it's better if you get one person to drive the car and another person to sort of feel out the squeaks in the door panel by putting pressure on certain areas. And I usually will take a popsicle stick if I think the squeaking is between two gaps. And if I can stick the popsicle sickle stick in there without damaging anything to keep arrest the movement of the two panels and see if the squeaking goes away, I know that that's sort of a hot zone for where the squeak might be coming from. So this is all a science, right? Um, now, some people also have asked me in the past if this sort of noise can originate from a, um, from a non-interior panel. And we're gonna talk about this a little bit on the W109 chassis cars and 108 chassis cars, where the rear control arm attaches to the body of the car. There's a little 
rubber puck there and when this puck wears out it will cause a heck of a squeak on the 109 cars and w112 cars if the rear um if the rear brake shackles or anti-dive linkage geometry that bolts onto the axle and rotates gets worn you'll get a squeak there too especially when you're going around a turn so these are some other areas mercedes like to squeak from but on the 126 it's almost always interior related so Good luck fixing your problem, Roger. It's going to take some patience. Don't give up. And um, if you enjoyed this video, please like, share, subscribe, tap the uh, bell for notifications, and let me know in the comments if you found any useful information here. Thank you so much to all 34,000 of you. Hope to see more of you in the future. We appreciate the ones that have stuck around for these past seven years. Thanks.